Hello everyone. Forgive me for taking a few minutes out of your busy day, but I just want to make you aware of my upcoming Mises Academy class on Keynes, Krugman, and the Crisis. In this course, it's going to be eight weeks long. The first week, we're going to study the thought of the pre-Keynesian economists, in other words, the economics that prevailed before the general theory came out. So what we're going to look at in particular is the famous section from J.B. Say's work on what's now referred to as Say's Law, and we'll see the sense in which Say meant that uh, principle, and we'll see if, if Keynes really dealt with that adequately. And then we'll also look at a selection from Lionel Robbins' book on the Great Depression that came out in uh, 1934. Okay, and so we'll see exactly what the state of the art in terms of free market economists thought about the Great Depression before Keynes came along. Then the next two weeks, we're going to look at selections from the general theory itself. And I should stress, you don't need to actually buy it. These things are going to be available online, so you don't need to order anything if you don't want to. And we will be reading it, though, in the original. And so you can see Keynes talk about his system in his own words. We're going to focus on the famous buzzwords that I'm sure you've heard about, you know, animal spirits and the socialization of investment. And yeah, didn't he in one of the prefaces talk about how the, the Nazi German state was more conducive to his system than a, a liberal state would be? And yeah, we're going to go over all that stuff, but the point's not going to be to demonize Keynes. It's going to be to understand exactly how his system worked. Okay, we're going to go through that. And then we're going to look at Hayek and see what's his response to Keynes. Okay, so uh, it, it's not going to be a, a full in-depth treatment of Austrian economics. It's going to be more things you may never have read before, interviews that Hayek gave where he talks about Keynes, uh, selections from Tiger by the Tail, which is largely just scattered remarks that Hayek made in various places collected in one spot talking about the Keynesian system. All right, so, and also we're going to look at the, the letters that Keynes and his followers, and then Hayek and his allies wrote to the Times in London in 1932 to you know, giving their different views as to what should happen to get rid of, get out of the crisis. Then the last section of the course, as the name suggests, is going to be talking about Paul Krugman, my, of course, favorite living economist. And there we're just going to go through relying on his blog entries and also some of his columns for the New York Times, going through, first of all, we're going to look at Krugman's treatment of the situation in Japan, right? the, the, the lost decade as it's called in, in Japan, and see what Krugman's recommendations were for them. We're going to look at Krugman's notorious calls for the creation of a housing bubble, and we're going to referee the dispute because Krugman now claims, hey, I never said that they should have a housing bubble. I was just making an analysis as an economist, and so we'll go and look at that and, and look at various things he said and wrote over the years to see, is it really true that back then Krugman was or was not claiming that the Fed ought to be trying to engineer a housing bubble. And then uh, the last thing, of course, is his recommendations for what the U.S. government and the Federal Reserve should be doing now, given that we're in what he thinks is a liquidity trap. All right, so throughout all this material, I'm going to, of course, always present it, try to do it fairly, try to make you think like Keynes or think like Krugman so you know what the worldview is, but then, of course, present the Austrian response to that particular viewpoint. So again, the class starts at the end of June. It's an eight-week class. It's $145. It's a, it's a steal, right? You're not going to be stimulating many expenditures by taking this class. But the, the point is, of course, to equip those of you who are fans of the Austrian school with a better knowledge of what we consider to be the enemy, as it were, right? It's important to understand how Keynesians think. And this is going to be a course where we get hip deep into it and read Keynes in the original, read Krugman's uh, work in his own words, and then try to uh, provide a systematic response. So I hope many of you can join us. We'll see you in a few weeks. Thanks. <music>